Welcome back to the third hour of today. This morning, we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, honoring the life and legacy of Cesar Chavez. It's a fitting morning, too, with workers exercising their right to strike around the country. Chavez was a poor migrant farm worker with an eighth grade education who became an icon by dedicating his life to civil rights. An absolute legend. NBC's Guad Venegas visited the Chavez National Monument out in California. He got an exclusive behind the scenes tour where Chavez lived and worked. All my life, I have been driven by one dream, one goal, one vision. The cause or la causa inspired a generation of Latinos to follow Cesar Chavez on a path to a better future, one with safer working conditions and fair pay for farm workers. The union's survival, its very existence, sent out a signal to all Hispanics that we were fighting for our dignity that we were challenging and overcoming injustice, that we were empowering the least educated among us, the poorest among us. His grassroots movement, the United Farm Workers of America, started in the 1960s with workers in the fields and grew to thousands who marched in protest to the California State Capitol and across the Southwest. Workers from 27 farms and ranches gathered under the flag of the Chavez movement. Cesar fought the produce growers with union co-founder Dolores Huerta and drew national attention during the Delano grape strike, a boycott against table grapes that lasted for five years until 1970. Cesar Chavez now turns to the lettuce fields, the vegetable farms of California's Salinas Valley. When he felt progress was too slow, Cesar even resorted to hunger strikes. It must be done, he said, the strike, but it must be done as always without violence. A landmark labor law was finally passed in 1975, and for the first time in American history, farm workers won the right to unionize. Cesar passed away in 1993. His son, Paul, one of Cesar and wife Helen's eight children, is now president of the Cesar Chavez Foundation. Paul, when President Biden decorated his office, mm. he set up a bust of your father. Why is it important that we know who Cesar Chavez is? Well, my father's message of opportunity and, 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 and fairness is an American value that should be cherished and celebrated uh, by everybody. I remember when uh, my father asked me to do the work here with the uh, foundation. He says, you know, mijo, because of the life that you've lived, you've had opportunities that most people would have only dreamed of. He goes, I want you to promise me that as you do your work and you decide who gets to do what, give the person that never had the opportunity, give them a chance to do it. You'll uplift them and their families. Today, the Cesar Chavez Foundation builds affordable housing for working families and seniors and supports educational programs for students across the Southwest. This was his headquarters. This is, this is his office that he worked out of. At the monument, Paul gave us a rare glimpse inside his father's perfectly preserved office and the two-bedroom Chavez family home. You know, this uh, dinner table uh, was a place that, uh, that my father, you know, not only ate, but invited people to break bread with him and to uh, talk about the issues of the day. It's also a place where we gathered as a family. What was the hardest thing that you guys had to get through? Growing up, uh, not having your father around is kind of tough, especially when you see your friends with their parents, right? We understood that things were different in our family, and we learned at an early age that we were going to have to share them with other folks. You have been through decades of changes in the U.S. Where do Hispanics stand in American culture today? So while we're proud of the progress that's been made, you know, we're mindful of the fact that there's still a, there's still a lot of work to be done. But, but we approach the work with a lot of uh, enthusiasm and, uh, and optimism. What a great story. Si se puede, or yes we can, is the motto of the United Farm Workers. It's also the name of the Chavez Foundation's learning centers. As I said, yes we can is what it's all about. And if that sounds familiar, it's because President Barack Obama borrowed that same phrase for his campaign. I didn't know that. And so much of what farm workers and other workers who've been organized owe so much to Cesar Chavez. Both okay. Cesar and Dolores Huerta. Yes. They're, they're, you know, uh, she is a living legend. Yes. He is a legend in his own right. Wow. That's a good story. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.